Hey everyone, my name is James, and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today, we're back for another round of the summoning adventure. So in today's episode, we are continuing on with the sole intention of taking on and destroying the evil, and I do mean evil, Plague Bringer Goliath. It seems like yesterday was only a mere warm-up, but a warm-up that I am actually pretty proud of, according to you lot, the Plaguebringer Goliath was actually buffed in the Rust and Dust update. And some of you even said that it's now one of the hardest bosses in the Calamity mod. Alright? Those are your words, not mine. Alright? So if I win, and I'm really proud, alright, it's because of you. Alright? Not because of my inability to kill anything that's even remotely like a Queen Bee. So in the last episode, we did have a lot of comments that basically said, You know what? If your frogs were a little bit better... You probably would have won that fight, and I actually do agree. So we got a lot of weapon recommendations, but the one that rose to the top, mainly because of its ability to fly, that is an awful joke, I apologize, is this one called the Something Butterfly. I did actually remember the name a moment ago, but for some reason, I've drawn a blank. Anyway, it's called the Butterfly, and it's actually pretty easy to craft. So if we have a little look at it here, uh, we can see... Oh wait, it's called the Resurrection Butterfly. Uh, so it uses silk, ectoplasm, butterfly dust, and life alloys. So all we need to do is make a couple life alloys, and we're good to go. That was a very easy recommendation. Thank you very much. Um, let's see how it is. Just because of the name, I kind of imagine them to look like the uh, prismatic lace wings that you have in 1.4. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but that would be very cool. All right, let's see. Bam. So they really are just little butterflies. <laughs> That's not the way I saw this series going, all right? Taking down one of the worst bosses with butterflies. Hey, look, who can predict this kind of stuff? Um, so with that new weapon, I guess we are pretty much ready to go with the next attempt. The only thing I've got to do is I think I've got to go get some more canisters, maybe. Uh, let's see. The Abomination. Yeah, I, I need a couple more canisters. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go get those, and I'll also go and buy uh, the buffs for the episode, and we'll just get straight into it. And then if we uh, knock that one out of the park pretty early, uh, we can crack on with some other stuff. Oh, I forgot to say my line. Hey, if you like today's episode, make sure to go down there and give it a big fat thumbs up. And while you're at it, if you are new, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. If you go down there and that button is red... You need to change that, all right? We're more of a, a grey-coloured kind of person around here. I do actually like the colour red a fair amount, clothy ear and all that. Um, but join the couch gang. Become a crease on the couch. Uh, how can I put it any better? All right, so it's now time to do the first attempt of the day against the Plague Bringer Goliath. I am a little bit fuming because I, uh, I was basically downstairs making a drink. And I seem to have initiated the Martian Madness. The butterflies, they held their own, they got me through 20% of the event, but now I have to do the Martian Madness event, which I actually hate. So in comparison with this, like, evil boss, I guess it's not so bad. At least it's never going to be the Martian Madness event. Alright, let's do the warm-up fight. Uh, I don't expect to win this one, alright? It's just the warm-up. Uh, but what did we learn in the last episode? Well... I found that moving in this nice little um, diamond shape seemed to help a lot. You remember how I used to always move in a circle? We've evolved, all right? It's it's the diamond shape now. It's a lot classier. It's sharper. It's, it's, it's brighter. It's honestly a whole new movement, all right? So far, going all right. I would say that the, the butterflies are probably dealing about as much damage as the frogs. Does that seem right? Would, would you all agree with that? I'd say so. What we need from them, though is a more reliable AI in the second half. That's that's the difference they've got to make over the frogs, all right? I guess I also learned in the last episode, I need to I need to respect my summons more, right? I said, I, I spoke quite, quite in length about being a proud dad of them. I need to be a proud dad of my butterflies, all right? Let's, let's do the pep talk. Butterflies, I'm proud of you, all right? It doesn't matter what school team that you've made or how well you've revised. You're my summons, all right? And, and I'm proud. How was that? I am the furthest thing from a dad. <laughs> I've got no idea. Christ. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're into the phase with the missiles now. 
So I'm going to use my rod of discord a little bit more to see what kind of goes down. Also, I don't know if you saw it because I was meant to acknowledge it. Have you seen the little pet that I've got? It's the cutest thing in the world. It's a little plague bringer pet. Pet. I don't know where I got it from. It just dropped. So it's like, all right, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, we've got the missiles. Okay, we're holding our own. We're holding our own. Oh, actually, do you know what? Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay, we're about to go into the next bit of adrenaline, but I think it's about to do the diagonal charging now. So I might not actually even get any of my adrenaline damage. Yeah, I, I did kind of think that would happen. That's the only downside of adrenaline is you need to use it pretty much straight away. Otherwise, it's, it's not really worth having. I guess it is still worth having, but still, you know what I mean. Okay, we're just finding the flow. We're just finding the flow. All right, that was really bad. Okay, still find the flow. Still find the flow. Okay, find the flow. Relax. Just gotta relax. If I get lucky with some of these missile spawns... Oh, and I actually am a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, ho, 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 okay, okay. All right, I managed to... Sub oh, God. Oh, Christ. All right, let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right, this ain't a victory yet, James. We've still got unreliable summons. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep this out for a little bit because I'm paranoid that it's going to charge me. Bam, we're off up here. Okay, I just I just have this horrible feeling that I'm about to get diagonally charged and it's all over. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there we go. All right. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. We got him on the warm-up. Nice. That was amazing. I'm so proud of us. Well done. And thank you so much for the tips. I, I really appreciate it. Now we've got the Martian Madness to do. I hate the Martian Madness so much. So the thing is about the Plaguebringer Goliath is it does have its own uh, summoning weapon, which I would really like. However, it's not uh, a guaranteed drop. And the thing is, I don't really want to farm out this boss because of uh, the challenge that it actually has. Uh, so I think if I don't get the weapon straight away, we'll probably just um, skip past it. We're going to be moving on to Duke Fishron in a minute. And then we also have the Ravager, which is like a more extreme, uh, heavily modded version of Gollum. Has its own chocolate nuggets, if you remember that. All right. Let's trash some of this stuff. Bam. Oh, what did we get? I can't actually see. <laughs> I need to. I need to know. All right, so now that the uh, Martian Madness is out the way, we can actually relax and, and focus on what we got. So, uh, I read Plague Staff and assumed that this was a summoning weapon. It's not. It's a it's a mage weapon, but it looks really cool. I quite like it. It reminds me of the... Um, I think it, like, it reminds me of something you would get from Plantera. Um, but we did actually get a summoning weapon. It's this. It's called the Infected Remote. So... There's a faded note written on it in green. Only the first line is readable. She won't inflict you, I promise. Summons the Harbinger of the Plague. Consumes all of the remaining minion slots on use and must be used from the hotbar. Increased power based on the number of minions used. So this is like just a one and done summon. Let's give it a go. All right, let's get an extra summon slot. Have I got any buffs? No. <laughs> Bam. Oh my Christ, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? Come on. That is a that is a Queen Bee Transformer. Why? I thought it would be um a little plague bringer, Goliath. That's what I thought it would be. Really? Honestly, no idea. No idea, but we'll see. It might be really good. All right, let's let's not judge it too much. I don't think it's very good. You never know. You never know. Um, <laughs> it's just odd. I think it's just odd. I, I am kind of memeing around. I don't know if I like single summons either. Like, I would rather have, like, a whole barrage of summons rather than, um, like, the Stardust Dragon, for example. But I guess that's kind of what it's about. Oh, Okay. So it, you use this to make minion, minion armor. Oh, and this is an upgrade to the to the bee armor. Did we did we actually ever fight the queen bee? Did we ever make the bee armor? I don't think we did, to be honest. The alchemist flask. All right. So how many pieces do you need of this? Seven, uh, five. So, okay, twelve. Sixteen then in total. 
Well, let's have a little look. I don't remember making the bee armor, but you never know. No, we never did. All right. Um, bee armor. So we'll do chest piece, headgear, and I can't make the leggings, so we need to work on that. What was the other thing that we needed? The flower boots. Do we have any flower boots? No. All right. I think that's probably something we can buy, though. And then the flask. So we don't have the flask. Let's see if we can maybe make the flask. Oh, we can. Oh, this is great. Okay, so we only need... um. We, how many of these do we need? We need two of these. So I'll be honest. I didn't even know that this was an armor set. I, I, I didn't know. It's weird that it uses two, right? Two two separate accessories. That is a bit odd. Um, yeah, I had no idea. So I guess we go and kill the queen bee then. Have we got any bee biomes around? Honestly, I've got no idea. Oh, wow. So that was the queen bee fight. Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Oh, my God. This feels like an actual lifetime ago. Wow. And I, I probably assume we've probably already fought this one. I tell you what. Let me look in here in my treasure bag. So I might actually have... Um, a queen bee treasure bag. Yeah, there you go. Because I remembered fighting it again. Bam. Okay. Alright, good. This is good. We can actually make the armor set straight away, I think. Uh, bee armor. So it was the leggings that we needed. Alright. So, what was the... Let's dump this all in here for now. And then let's have a little look. What was it called again? It's called the plague bringer set. Oh, I'm really excited. It's, it's kind of nice to have a surprise thrown on you like this. So we'll make the chest piece. Uh, we'll make the helmet. And I think... Yeah, I think what we're running out of immediately is the... Um, is the plague cells. I think we need a little bit more. Uh, what was the leggings actually called? Oh, it was the uh, the flower boots. We're missing the flower boots. Alright, let's go see if we can uh, purchase those. I imagine we can. This NPC has been actually really handy. But the, the stuff that it sells is random. So you never know. Flower boots. Hey. Oh, God. This is coming so good. Okay. So we get a, a full-on Chippy's couch comparison. I always love these. Uh, plague leggings. Bam. All right. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. Let me grab it properly. Here we go. All right. So we currently have 40 defense. Uh, the set bonus is 40% increased minion damage. Uh, you also get the Inferno effect below 50 life. You get the Hydrothermic Vent to protect you. And you also have a 20% chance to emit a blazing explosion when you are hit. All right, we're just moving over here because the Blizzard keeps spawning in those little um, frost giants. Uh, so set bonus, 40% increased minion damage, Inferno effect below 50 life. You get the Hydrothermic Vent and a 20% chance to emit a blazing explosion when you are hit. Now, I do actually like these little flames that come out. I think they're kind of cool. All right, let's move it over. So, we're down to 42 defense. But let's see what the set bonus is. All right, so the helmet gives uh, extra max life. You're also getting two extra max minions. Um, and 15% minion damage just on the helmet. So, let's see the, um, the set bonus. Grants a plague dash to ram enemies and afflict them with the plague. Summons a little plague bringer to protect you and empower nearby minions. Oh, look. There he, there he is. Look. Oh, my God. We got the boys. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. So, you get the plague dash. Does that mean that we, we don't necessarily need this then for a little while? I guess, I guess we kind of don't if we've got the plague dash. So, maybe we'll put that on the sideline for now. We can probably replace that with something else. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, oh, what should we put here? We need an accessory. Hmm. Ah, don't worry. I know. I know. It's the, it's the eye of the storm. Here we go. She's back, oh, everyone. <laughs> Did you miss her? So that's pretty cool then. Lots of extra summons. That's, that is actually really good. Uh, so up next is uh, Duke Fishron, right? Yeah, okay. I think this one's going to be a, a pretty interesting fight. All right, let me go grab some um, some truffle worms and we'll get into it. All right, so it's been a, a couple of hours. Hey, how are we all doing? I do mean in the real world, by the way, and I've not spent all those hours trying to get truffle worms. Basically, I had a, a businessy call that I needed to take. I know, sounds very adult. I've been trying to convince people recently that I am an adult. I like socks, I like coffee, I like books, and also business meetings. But yeah, I had this um, this call that I had to take and it was really interesting and um, yeah, just really cool, but I can't talk about it. So 
So that's very boring. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I went and got some truffle worms. Uh, and during the whole time, all I was saying was, man, I really wish mushroom biomes were giant like they were in 1.4. In 1.4, they're so good. You come back to 1.3.5 and it's like, all right, come on, you be slacking. Uh, so let's go do Duke Fish Rom. Now, I'm only going to do two attempts today, uh, mainly because I've kind of run out of time. Um, and I've been keeping to a really good schedule. I'm really proud of myself recently. Uh, I've been getting a lot of love about it. But um, but yeah, we've got to gotta cut it short today. You never know, though. We might win. We definitely will not win. All right, don't get your expectations up, all right? See, the thing is, is if this was normal Plantera, you know, just a, a master mode Plantera, I would be all right. But it isn't. It's Calamity. And I tell you what, with good AI, I still would lose. I really would. I'm really bad at, at Duke Fisher on, no matter what. This is why I always kind of uh, delegate it until later, because I'm really, really not good at it. But if you do watch this and you're like, hey, James, I've got a really, really good tip, let it be known, all right? I'll hear it. Okay, all right. So we got some adrenaline there. I'm trying to, to really keep my distance and try and get some of these tornadoes to, to maybe spawn more at the top. Which isn't really the best idea, to be completely honest. It's just that it just see. Oh Christ! This is oh, this is really bad. <laughs> well, you remember that tornado thing? Forget about it. But I think so far the summons are doing all right. All right, so we're into the third phase now. This is the phase that I'm really bad at. So we have to teleport around. Oh Christ! We're gonna dash around. Sorry. Oh God! I hate this so much. All right, I'm off up here. <laughs> I just want to- Oh god, oh, I hate it so bad. I hate it so bad. Oh god, Christ. This is what the rest of the episode is. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm just so bad at it. I'm really bad. Oh, I wanted to share something that had me howling. It was such an underrated comment. This wasn't a, a Chippy's Couch comment, but oh my god, it's so funny. Basically, I put up a community post on Chippy Gaming talking about uh, Senex's tweet, talking about how the team have begun learning um, Unity, the Unity game engine. Um, the idea being that the next project Relogic work on will be based in Unity rather than uh, the .NET framework. I think that's the way to, to say it. Um, but, but somebody put, it's so good. <laughs> they just put, I hope their experience of learn, learning Unity goes better than mine. I started the Unity course, got bored, <laughs> downloaded Terraria and tried to play it without my teacher noticing. And I love that idea that Relogic would would play their own game to procrastinate. Oh, making the next. I love that. I, that is so like, it's funny. That is good. All right. Second attempt. Oh, it's going to be so bad. I'm so rubbish at this third phase. I don't know if any of you, any of you noticed it, but he was still spawning tornadoes in the third phase. Now, in vanilla Terraria, that wouldn't happen so that you could just focus on dodging. Not in Calamity, all right? Calamity makes it awful. <laughs> Save that for old Duke Calamity, all right? Leave my Duke leave my Duke alone, all right? He doesn't need a change. He's hard enough for a little smooth brain like me. <laughs> all right, we're off over here. All right, so I'm just going to try and... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm winging my way through this commentary. <laughs> I really am that bad at it. No, all right. Let me see if I can get out of this. All right, buff that. Get a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that adrenaline. Go on, knock it down to its third phase, butterflies. Come on. I want to go into the third phase and not have it... Oh, God, this is awful, isn't it? This is really bad. Oh, God. I want to go into the third phase with Rod of Discord and as much health as possible. All right, so here's the third phase. All right. So now we've got to start dashing in the opposite... Wait, do you dash... You oh, wait. Oh, wait, am I getting this wrong? Do you dash in the opposite direction? Oh, you do! Oh, right! That's probably why I'm struggling so awfully. Oh, God, Christ, no. This is, oh, God, Christ. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, Christ, no. Oh, I hate it. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I want to do better. Now, that was really awful. Uh, I I don't know. I, I probably will skip Duke. <laughs> Who am I fooling? Who am I fooling? I can't do Duke in Revengeance mode. Uh, but no, if you've got any good tips or whatever, do you want to free up this accessory slot? Do let me know, because I am I am actually genuinely interested. Uh, I think there's another thing that we can make, actually. Come to think of it, I think there's like a turret we can make. Um, but anyway, if you've got some tips, um, you know where to send them. Right, uh, I I'm cutting it short today. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, the support's been really cool recently. Uh, give the video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
uh, subscribe if you're new, join the Couch Gang, and shout out, as always, to our channel members that are floating by on screen right now. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so that's why you got an extra high right now. All right. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Hope you're all well. Peace.